well to stay behind. It's about to get super interesting. Thank you so much. Um, Mama, I would like you, to, if you are with us, I'd like you to give us a general overview once again about the vision and mission of the Akara community as a whole and what we are building and what we can to achieve both in the short term and in the long term. Thank you so much. All right. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi, success. Like you said, thanks for sticking through to the end of the bootcamp. Um, these are the final stages. So um, what I hope for or what, I'm, what I, the goal of the bootcamp was to give you from a place of zero knowledge or very little knowledge of, of how the blockchain works and how um, Web 2 and Web 3 inter interactions to some foundational knowledge, right? To have some knowledge of, okay, this is how this works and this, this, these are the next steps that we can go through. So um, today I'll basically just be talking about, um, this is just gonna be like a, like a chat <laughs> between us basically. And um, anyone that has questions from the last sessions, any session from the first session to the end or anything that you heard about the blockchain that you're a bit confused about i want to discuss about this is more so an informal session and i'm here to answer questions and also just um give you some um um informal tips as well to navigate this space so for as many of us that are here that um are devs that are willing to enter the web3 space if you can act by um, messaging in the chats um, in the chat box if you are a developer and you're looking to enter the web3 space or if you are if you like if you are willing to migrate from web 2 to web 3 dev or if you are maybe willing or if you are here just to learn the fundamentals so you can trade in crypto or something just um, put your messages in it puts your responses in the bot in the messages and then I can read through it and know have a bit of a guide on what I really want to talk about today because <laughs> I wanted to kind of share a bit of my journey in the, from uh, migrating from the web to the web three space and just kind of I don't know as many of people want to hear it or if it's be helpful or other tips that will be helpful so let me know if you're a dev if you want to why your purpose for joining this bootcamp you can just put it in the message session either as a dev or as a uh, trader or as a UI UX person and all of that. So the goal of this session is basically to talk about careers in the web free space and to answer all your questions. Um, if you have been here from the first session, hi, Shange, thank you. Thanks, thanks for that. So if, if I can get more responses, that would be very encouraging and helpful to me. So, um, so the the um, I just want to talk in general about Web three like careers in the Web three space, right? Um, as, as many of us, I'm sure, because it's not an intensive coding session. So, if you know fundamental front end JavaScript or fundamental front end stuff, you should have been able. We should have carried you. We we should have been able to carry along from the beginning, even through the practical sessions. At least I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Um, the the goal of the bootcamp is is not for pure devs. It's for people that are interested in the web, in having in starting a career in the web free space, right? Whether because we all know that in the in the tech space, you don't have to be a developer to be in tech. You can be a UI UX person. You can be a um, project manager. You can be a product owner. Can be a DevOps person. You can be. There are different roles, right, in the tech space, and these exact roles can also migrate to the web to web three space. the The difference between a project manager and a tech project project manager is you know some tech. You know when when someone says front end, when someone says API, they are not talking over your head, right? You have some idea of how the tech works. Some project man managers may have taken some intro to developing courses just to have an idea. They might not be writing code, but some of them can read some code. Same as product owners. Um, the difference between a 
I don't know, manager, a, a regular office manager, and a product owner or something, is you have an idea about tech. You know this is how programs work. Um, there are such things as microservices. You understand the terminologies. You understand how database works. You understand how data communicates. Is that sorry? My dog is always walking behind me. You understand how data communicates with with each other and everything, right? So the goal of the foundations course, and we will keep having more and more foundations courses, and keep training people over so that at least um, um, we we people, most of the members of the community will have an idea of what the web page space is like because we have found a very huge barrier to entry when it comes to web page career is just knowledge and education about the web page space, right? So that is the first thing that I wanted us to talk about. Um, I wanted um, us to share like, okay, um, basically this is the essence of the boot camp. So I like, like success said, I wanted to now like introduce you to like the essence of the community, right? And why we are doing this in the first place. So um, Akara community basically is a community founded by uh, myself and a couple of web senior web senior devs that happen to be in the web face space. And our dream is to set up an organization where we can be consultants and build web three solutions um web three so solutions basically for hopefully to solve Af african problems but basically just band together as a group of african web three devs and build solutions you have seen a couple of my partners in crime come and take you guys on these courses by the way these 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 guys are just they just came in like pro bono for the sole purpose of sharing knowledge nothing was given to them there was no perk whatsoever so that just shows the heart of the community basically but um that's the goal is to be a dao is to be a crypto solutions development DAO, right a huge part of the community however is aside from developing solutions we also want to develop the individuals that will be that will be part of the pipeline in solutions development because to develop solutions, you can't just be one champion. You can't be two people. It's it's um, a huge barrier to um, in the web free space is having hands, right? Um, professionals are equipped to do the work. It's a very see where, where the knowledgeable blockchain devs are hard to find. They are just hard to find, which is why people say, "Oh, they have so much money." Yes, because they are rare. <laughs> and the reason why most of the reason well that's one of the reasons why um, the bunch of us decided to set up this DAO is um, a very huge barrier to entry is where blockchain is because we, we all know like Ethereum has to do with value has to do with gas fees there is lots there's lots of money involved in general blockchain app application so for example you 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 can develop a normal website or wordpress site or web two site you decide crash you decide goes down i mean it might hurt the company business a bit but after the company you know after a few hours you, you can still go on the database refresh things and spin it back up and the company may have lost a few hours of business but nothing too small it's not the same in web three but if your code doesn't work if your code has an issue if your code has bugs can be expected for, to, for your company to lose literally millions of dollars. So this is why a lot of the companies, a lot of um, reputable web free the, um, companies won't hire inexperienced devs. So, but if they are not going to hire inexperienced devs, how will new devs get experience? That's the barrier to entry. That's the problem that we're trying to solve for Africans. A bunch of us, it was really hard to get this experience to even to even show our head in front of people and say, ah, can you hire us? This is our part of money. You get. So we want to make that a, bit, a little less hard for our local community. That's the essence of Akara, to be fair. Um, um, so um, that's, the, that's the essence of Akara. Um, a solution, a, a um, blockchain solutions development DAO 
that is very like and and our goal in this DAO is not only to develop solutions for clientele but to keep educating our community members and hopefully get them to a place where they can also be a source of talent for our pipeline we can open we because we have some of our in-house projects and we also have some um clientele projects some we will also have some client projects and we, we will also have some in-house projects right once we get for example once we do our beginners boot boot camp and our medium level boot boot camp at that time we would have had an idea of as many of you that are following that have gained some knowledge that are a bit more equipped by then we'll start our internship program start to and to give a bunch of you hands-on experience while also utilizing that talent for our project that's the goal of our organization um so as many of you that are here that want to join us for the long run, we are still young, but believe me, um, we have the hard time. We have and we have and we're basically here for it. Okay, so a bunch of you have messaged. Okay, ah, so a lot of you are devs. So I just see one, two, three, four, five, six. All of you seem to be devs. So yeah, so it's it's targeted towards devs and also um, particularly the beginner course. The beginner course. The beginner the the foundations course that's this boot camp is targeted towards devs and also people that want to be like a project manager or a product owner or anything in the web3 space again the barrier to entry is if you don't know how blockchains work you don't know what um client nodes are or how the communication is going from the back end to the client node or how things are synchronizing right you can't be a project manager in that process because you will have no clue what to manage. Same as a product owner, right? Same as a UI UX person, to be honest. Because there are some UI UX designs. You can just design, oh, log in with your username and password. A lot of web free authentication is via wallets. It's part of the flow, right? So having this foundational knowledge is important in general to get into the, to get into a career in web three space. So um, yeah, um, so that's about it. Um, for developers, since a lot of us are, are, are developers, I'll migrate to the developer discussion first, which is my strong suit, and then we'll talk about other, other, other things. So for devs, there are different career paths, even in the Web3 space. The Web3 space, once you get, for as many of us that will be with us to the intermediate and the advanced boot camps that we're planning for first quarter, and so we'll of, of next year. All of you will see, yo, blockchain is very diverse. It's very diverse. There is protocol level development, meaning you are developing the you are developing applications for the EVM to run the smart contracts. So there is that level of development. That level of de development might require some knowledge of low-level development languages like Golang, like Rust, like um, some C++, some C, right? Protocol development. As you are writing code to build the EVM, which is the computer, the virtual com um, computer itself, where all the smart contracts are hosted on. And then that's one um, part of the, the one path, basically, one development career path. Another path is you are a small contract dev. So that's, to be honest, that's, I feel like that's the easiest path to entry, to entry, particularly if you are from a JavaScript background, to understand ECMAScript, Ec 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 which is what Solidity is written on. ECMAScript is pretty straightforward to understand if you, because ECMAScript Ec Ec is the same thing using for JavaScript anyways. You will just learn some new syntax and some and some new data types like addresses and some new key keywords like payable addresses and you know public private read only pure functions those are little additions to the regular way that you write code and some syntax things and it and before you know it you are writing a, a, a smart contract are you a smart contractor these are people that actually write the code the new type, the new pro, the the programs and new ways of doing things that people, um, companies on and the startups think up and then write the code and launch it to host on the EVM. That's the second path. There's a third path. There's also a DevOps path. 
yes i said it devops for anyways i don't think devops is really very programming intensive even though proper devops people will argue with with me because it might be my dog is coming sorry so it might be it, it can get very programming intensive so because basically if you are a web3 devops person you have to learn some lower level languages to be able to automate tasks that will run on the EVM, right? You will you automate, oh, when the app runs, then your client will update that and that and that. Then the integration service updates that and that and that. So you will write all this code like Python and other lower level languages as well. To be fair, I'm not too familiar. I do know that there is DevOps engineering when it comes to Web3 because Web3 platforms and serv and services can be at are very different from Web2 like AWS and Google. They are very different, right? So that's another part. Another part that's a, another is a popular part, but also a hard barrier to entry is. You are, if you're going to be a smart contract auditor, so usually auditors are already smart contract de developers that may be graduate auditors, or if you are just a sharp guy, you, you, you can literally just study a lot and be an auditor. Um, again, like I said, the reason why it's a hard barrier to entry is because people are not playing with their money, with their code in blockchain stuff. Uh, if they're writing an application, uh, a smart contract to be hosted. They are not playing with you. So they are not, chances of them hiring an entry level auditor is low, slim to none. <laughs> so your your level of your experience, gain more, much experience in that field, it go hard a bit. But thankfully, there are a lot of auditing companies that do internships or that do um, study programs and such and such. So basically, or if you can, if you're fortunate enough to have a mentor in the in the field and attach yourself to his work to get a lot of hands-on experience, then you can um, be an uh, be an auditor. So those are off the top of my head. Those are four um, career paths, developer career paths that come to mind. Um, so yeah, so you have options, you have choices. And depending on your own strengths, you can decide this is where I want to target my energies, right? And then from now, I advise what you see yourself in five years, start doing it now, right? Please, anyone that has questions, ask on the, on the message channel or raise your hand up all the career tips things I'm saying. Um, if you are losing me, if I'm not making sense, if you have more, more questions, Feel free to unmute. So yeah, um, that's basically the summary of the dev parts. I think those those four: a protocol engineer, a smart contracts engineer, a DevOps stroke integrations engineer, a, mainly a DevOps engineer to be fair, and then a um, what do you call that thing? An auditor. Those are the uh, developers. To be fair, there are, there's also a high demand for front and integrations engineers to be fair it's a new i won't say it's new and it's i feel like that's one with the least barrier to entry to be honest so a front-end um integrations engineer is someone that obviously is a proper front-end dev but you know a, a bit about blockchains and you know how to set up the the metamask flow and you know different flows to connect to wallets either either singular wallets or multi sig wallets you you know how to set up that flow to connect to wallets and to send transactions from your web page to a wallet so so actually that's a very valid career path to front end web free dev that's the lowest barrier to entry to be fair yeah so three um okay yeah so devrel um devrel so i wanted to go to the non Dev intensive part. Thank you, Colette. I wanted to go to the non. It, you you need to have some knowledge of the technology of Web 
free and um, blockchain tech, but you are not required to really have as much hands-on um, experience or badges under your belt like that. The first one I wanted to speak on is research. So because of how complex the um, blockchain space is, there is a lot of mathematics and calculations and solving of equations that go into simple signing a block and validating a block. There are so many math equations that go into these things. And so because of how vast the field is, and because people are always trying to evolve and change things and tweak things and improve things in the blockchain space, there is a lot of room for people that their main work is to study book and recommend, ah, okay, let's use this math formula, or, or this is doing this, or this is doing that, or, you know, basically do research. Researchers are not required to have a lot of hands-on experience coding, but most of them are also devs or most of them may be used to be devs, they can read code. So um, bigger companies like um, Consensus or very big um, blockchain companies, they will not require their um, researcher to be a developer, but they usually attach a developer to a researcher. So a researcher can do some research, do some recommendations, write some papers and say, bro, dev, run it, run them, create an MVP and see if of a truth, this math can do this math and calculate this so that the chain can be more this. I'm just doing this and this because let's not get very, very complex. So that's, um, the research field is actually very booming and very, very in demand in the, in the, in the blockchain space as you, as you, as you can imagine, it's very scarce. Uh, so another, so the barrier to entry might be a bit high because a lot of them are in academic academia a lot of them already know math maybe they study math in uni maybe they have phds wow. a lot of research people right um very lucrative though bro <laughs> if you have a phd in math or something i want to enter blockchain you are in the mama you make money that's just my first advice secondly though um another um, non-dev intensive career path is devrel like colette said so developer relations are basically people, we all know what, um, um, I won't say brand ambassadors, but kind of like brand ambassadors per se. So if a blockchain company creates a new protocol, so dev people, they usually hire like dev, dev roles. They are basically like, de like developers that were not part of developing the protocol but their main job is to kind of build a community around their protocol, like develop tutorial videos, write articles. A, a lot of our um, deafest people doing slides and the rest, a lot of them will make good devils if they decide to pivot to the world of this space. So that one is a low barrier of entry as well, right? Um, so devrel is also very, it's also very in demand, I think. It's also very in demand. Um, I mean, the pay, honestly, I don't think the research people would get a lot of money, but like their pay is also good. Generally, in the blockchain space, in the web free space, people are willing to offer you money because jobs are rare, because experts are rare, generally. So, yeah, and that. So, basically, to require you having some programming knowledge, some knowledge of the, of the protocol, or and some willingness, or some ability to learn some new tech quickly, maybe add, uh, write articles and their host talks and then talk to communities and stuff. Yeah, that's their problem. Um, product owner is doing the same product owner job, but with the knowledge of, block, of, of blockchain. Same as project manager, doing the same project manager job as you would in a regular tech company, but you have a lot of knowledge of, block, of blockchain processes. You have a lot of knowledge of how messages are sent and received and why. Um, the same as UI UX developers, right? I won't spend much much time on all those ones because I, 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 since most of us are devs, as from the comment sessions, I imagine we all kind of have an idea of these roles. Um, the only ones I want, I really spoke about are the ones that are relatively new, 
like research, like dev rebel, like auditor and the rest, yes. So these are career paths that are available to you in the Web3 space. Um, the only, my recommendation or the only barrier to entry, like I said, is usually experience, usually usually ex experience so my recommendation is to get involved in a lot of community projects as much as you can so i would i would say my own story um i've been a dev for 30 something engineering in middle school graduated in a ton of years ago and i've been a dev since um working remotely before people started doing re remote work and the rest Anyways, one of my mentors from one of the companies that I, I um, actually, I think we met on LinkedIn, correct? She wasn't, she didn't work with me in the company. She, we, we met on LinkedIn. And then just from, from, from talking, whenever she has projects that she works on, she'd be like, oh, yeah, are you available? This is my power rate for this time. And I want something done in a few months. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. She taught me a lot of things and the rest. So she basically had a project during the lockdown period. It was a web three project. She knew I had zero experience in web in, in web three, but I had some angular ionic experience from way back, and I needed to transfer knowledge skills to. They were they were trying to do a prototype, an electron prototype for an ATM machine that would, um, that would that would debit your wallet and give you dollars. So it was a thing. It was it was like a thing. Or there were deadlines. I was just like ah. This is, this is my grandma, this is my boss that says I should do it. I just put my head in the sand for weeks. <laughs> Learn, I was very new to a lot of these things. Well, to be fair, I was not that new. I had some knowledge of it before the lockdown. Um, but when I say hands-on experience, like writing actual code, I could read I like I could read smart contracts before then. I could read it. I knew about blockchain. I knew about the investments and stuff. I knew about crypto stuff. I had some idea. They are just from being an orang geek, um, but had never kind of proper written solid code. So that project had to had to deep dive. Thankfully, being a senior, like you, your different experience to, with different like programming languages, it's easy for you. No, it's relatively easier for you to adapt and learn something new. So yeah, so that was basically how I got really into it. And since then, yeah, um, um, since then I was super in interested and I, and I participated in a lot of community projects. So the first community that I joined was Gitcoin. They, they used to have a lot of freelance projects up for grabs. So then I'll just participate in a freelance code project and like try to see if I can get stuff done. Pro bono. All of these things I did while having another physical job, not physical, but yeah, physical job. I had another remote job, but because I was super interested in the field, no, nobody would hire you for just doing a three months MVP for somebody that they don't even know. Besides the company, I don't think they even got the rates that they wanted, so I don't think they really, they really went far. And by the, by the side gig, anyways. So I was not being hired for being a blockchain. That whole was it two or three years of, of lockdown? I just sat down and started doing practical projects. I started doing like pro bono stuff, joining a lot of communities, following a lot of people online. Um, just dug into the rabbit hole myself, building things that I think was nice, in projects that I thought was okay, <laughs> doing open source things that nobody sent me. <laughs> but after a while, you come across some names over and over across some names again and again you get some experience you get the lingo you understand things better you know and then i did um any bootcamp program that would have me at that time of the love bootcamp program so yeah and then um before before needless to say within before two years i i i, I got a full-on um, blockchain role and we've been blockchaining since we've been professionally blockchaining since so it has been a good journey um yeah so that's my own story so what i would recommend is get your hands the the the, the toughest barrier to entry for me was again projects to work on 
they don't know what to do and what direction. So the goal of this community is to direct people on where to go. And you know, now that like we are in a place where we can build products of our own, uh, um, yeah, as we are doing that, we are carrying people along. So for for as many of you that are Web2 devs hoping to get into the Web3 space, um, we, would, we are really looking forward. So after this um, session, I think Success is preparing like a feedback form and we are looking forward to your feedback. This is our maiden boot, boot camp session. We want to really know what you thought about what we were teaching, the platform we are using, the lighting, is it good? Did you benefit? Was it helpful, you know? And um, yeah, and then hopefully, and then what do you need moving forward, right? What do you think that you need moving forward? Um, like I mentioned, like um, Success may have mentioned in the last two classes, we are having a um, Twitter space on Saturday with a representative from our partners. And like they are looking, they are basically they are basically going to talk about, um, they are they are basically going to talk about how to create a resume that will be like attractive for the web three space. And I'm sure he also mentioned different tips and tricks to um, use to kind of position yourself well. Um, the one thing I'll tell you is, it's a I won't say it's a rabbit hole like Alice in, in Wonderland, but it kind of is. Um, it's for, if you are passionate about knowledge and about learning, this it's, you will really thrive. Um, but, and the good thing is once you get that knowledge, see, you will start. Not a question of, oh, are they going to hire? Are they not going to hire? Once you have proved to, to whoever, or once you have evidence that you have that skill set, you are hiring because there is a lot of demand in the in the space for creative and relatively little supply, right? That's our value side. So I will use this time to round up. So I do more so now. I do more so smart contracts now, and more so protocol stuff now, mainly because I have a lot of um, like I said I studied. I have some um, background in C++ from the school, and Golang has been my strong suit for a while. So it's um, pivoting to the protocol side. It was pretty interesting for me. So yeah, smart contracts and smart contracts are mainly mainly protocol. Okay, I guess I'll leave the stage to success to give the remaining announcement, right? Again, please let's fill up the feedback form. We really would love to hear back from you and improve. I would really would love to keep the com the conversation going, the communication going. We want to be as helpful to you as possible in the community. So let us know how we can help. That's 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 what gives us joy. So success, if you can take over. Yeah, thank you so much, my brother. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. It's been experience and genuinely, I feel that for you to be still standing now means you are super interested in blockchain development. I'll be sharing a link now. I think some people reached out to me earlier today. They are having exams, some students, so they have also been, I already have a, an attendance list, so I know those that have been consistent. I'll be sharing the link on the, you can feel it, yes, please do well to feel it, and we'll further discuss on the server. So basically, what we want is, we want people that are just not only interested in hopping around, 
we are interested in people that want to build this community with us. You want to grow from where you are. Like Madame Mamala said, we'll be having different segments of trainings from next year. From to intermediate to junior to expert level and all that. And all these are just a way to harness the possibilities you have. Like she said, I'm a community and project manager, but I think it just took a person that believed in me in Web3 to land my first job. Like, like I usually tell people, I have sent, I sent over 500 applications from January to March. Like, this is just my story. From January to March, over 500 applications. And they knew this guy had what it takes, but no one was ready to risk it. Since you are coming from Web 2 to Web 3, how are we sure that you are able to deliver? And that was the only excuse. But it took one person and it changed the narrative from March till now. So one thing that I will instill in us is to be consistent. Like we have rules on the server, do well to apply. If you need a um, recommendation later for any job role, reach out to us. We are growing a community. It's not a secret cult, no, it's a community. We are ready to help you wherever you need our help. You are seeing any information that you feel will benefit your other community members, you can copy and send it on the server. Let's interact. You are coding, you reach a block spot, send it to the server, people are there to check it for you and deliver certain solutions. And that is why we exist. We exist not for ourselves, but for everyone that is ready to grow in the space. So I've dropped the link. Do well to fill it. I will be in communication constantly, constantly. And to wrap the week, we'll be having our game night on Friday. It's going to be super amazing. Super amazing game night like you've not seen before. There will be a game night to end the week. So it's going to be super amazing. Lots of prizes will be won. So don't miss it. Like, lots of prizes. When I say lots of prizes, lots of prizes will be won. Let's say all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So let's come and unwind. We've given our best. Like, it's not easy to stay consistent. A lot of people started with us. But today they are, you've slacked back and you are still here. I totally envy your consistency and your pursuit for greatness and we are sure we will definitely do everything in our power to see that you are growing also we'll be launching an ambassadorial program soon so when you're filling the form if you would like to be part of our ambassadors do well to upload your image on the form there is a place to upload your image on the form Please do well to upload your image and we'll reach out to you. Definitely we'll reach out to you. We can't do this alone. We need the support of each and every one of you. So feel free. Like my mother said, my opportunities came from LinkedIn. You heard her talk about LinkedIn. Show up. Probably we'll have to fix, my mother, we might have to fix a class on LinkedIn optimization. How to optimize your LinkedIn page for visibility. All that. Everything see that we grow together not leaving one person behind that it in our power see that we are moving from one level to another so we'll work on it yeah we'll work on the class most definitely next year january we'll have the class linkedin is filled with a lot of opportunities position yourself for it we'll work on technical writing and a whole lot so expect nothing but Nothing short of great things coming in 2023. So thank you all once again. And we'll definitely keep in touch. Check us up on the server. You have any issue, you have any questions, reach out. You can come, let's have fun. Let's play games. Let's listen to music. Let's have chats. Definitely, we are always there. And we're always there to listen to everyone. Thank you so much. And I don't know if you have any question about anything I said. You can raise your hands or unmute yourself and ask. We definitely have for you. Thank you so much, everyone.
now somebody just joined i can i should send the link again yeah i just did thank you thank you everyone thank you if we don't have any other question well yeah thank you so much thank you we appreciate we appreciate yes the class is not over the class is not over we've reached a point whereby now what we need is practice yes the boot camp is it's going to be over by this week but we are not over for today it's going to be over this week all the videos are passing through editing most of them have been uploaded but once we're done editing everything will be uploaded if you have time to watch the videos you have any question do well to drop them and answers will be provided thank you so much keep in touch and will always be in the server waiting for you I don't know if there's any final words from my mother before we close the curtain and meet later in the server. I mean, not really. I, I just want to echo some stuff that you said. Like, literally, we are here very... Um, the essence of the DAO is to, is to give back as we are building. So for as many of you that want to give back, like Colette is already a dev. Like, anyone is open to teaching anyone else and like sharing knowledge with anyone else so please feel free to join our ambassadors program and just yeah and be a part of what's going on so in that light you everyone have a lovely evening i guess and nothing else <laughs> yeah i think it's been an amazing ride remember we still remain akara africa we're here to yeah please yeah fill the form and upload your image we'll reach out to everyone everyone that fills the form and uploads his or her image yeah thank you so much Emmanuel for that question yeah. so if you have friends that are developers feel free to share your link with them and let's hit the wrong way any area you're having issues with your journey we can organize a class either a twitter space and invite someone to discuss it that's why we are here so thank you so much for staying through and we trust we'll be seeing more of you every single day thank you all and like they say au revoir bye bye everyone take care <laughs>